the one that rules. You are the ruling God today. Oh God, you created everything, God. You are still in control, Father. Regardless as to what is going on, the pandemic, the COVID-19, you are still God and you change not. So therefore, God, we can worship you. We can worship you in spirit, God. We can worship you in truth, oh God. Oh, we bless your name.
every believer, every sinner, God. Because you reign on the unjust yes, as well as the just, God. Yes, God. Your mercy are new daily today. Thank you, Father. Your grace is sufficient for us. We praise you, God. We know, God, that you are up to something. You prove that. We love all God. God, we thank you. Bibles real quick to Luke the uh, 18th 
Praise the Lord. Amen. And just for the sake of a, a scripture text, I'm going to give you a text. But we're going to talk about faith. Amen. 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 I'm only doing this because I was taught right. Amen. And you come before the people, you have a scripture, you have a text, a foundation that you're going to teach from. Amen. Amen. And, and some churches, that they say you have to have at least three foundational scriptures Amen. in order to preach. Nowhere in the scripture does it say you have to. Yeah. It's just nice protocol. Amen. Yeah. Well, amen. But anyway, Luke 18, verse 7 through 9 says, And, it shall, and shall not God avenge his own seed, mm -hmm. which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on the earth. We're not talking about God avenging his people. But we're talking about, will God find faith on the earth? Amen. Mm -hmm. You may have received the presence of the Lord. Thank you. Amen. I love each and every last one of you all. I thank God for what he's doing. Thank God for how he showed up on yesterday. Amen. I love working and evangelizing. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And, and I thank God that we're doing something. We're not just running our mouths, you know. Uh, 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 and, and we're not saying that if you weren't out there, you're not doing anything. I have to be careful because sometimes uh, you say something, it can imply that the, the opposite of, some, uh, of someone else. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Amen. I'm not into that. I'm not trying to make one church look better or another church look worse. Amen. I'm just saying that I thank God that I'm where he want me to be. Amen. 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 Reaching out, Amen. extending a hand to help those which are less fortunate than us. And I might be a little biased because that's an area that I grew up in. Amen. 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 My uh, uncle owned a house down the street. My mother owned a house uh, across uh, 10th Street, down the street. Amen. On one side is Prescott. Amen. She was on Prescott. On the other side is Park uh, in North Chicago. But to see those people and to converse with those people and to, uh, to, to hear their stories, where, they, where they're from and what they've gone through. I'm going to tell you something. Everybody is not uh, living on the street because they decided to. That's right. That's right. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. Some people, I'm, I'm, uh, I'd say about 80% of the people in America are only one check away from being homeless. That's right. Amen. 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 I know Amen. I know what I'm talking about. Amen. Uh, when we went through that uh, Financial Peace University, and we did a, 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 a little study in our own church to find out how many people have at least $500 emergency money put away. Some people don't even have $50 put away. Amen. That that tells us where people are. So we have to walk by faith. We have to live by faith. We have to, amen, function by faith. Because we don't have that cushion uh, to fall back on. So the only thing that we should be falling back on is on Jesus. Amen. Are y'all listening amen. to me? Amen. That, that should be our plan A, and that should be our plan B. Are y'all listening to me? That's right. Amen. I don't have, you know, people, what if God fail, what are you going to do? Number one, he ain't going to fail. Amen. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. He is not going enough to fail. Why? Because my plan B. Is a, a plan A, fall back on Yahweh. Plan B, fall back on Jesus. Plan C, fall back on the Holy Ghost. And after that, there's nothing left. Because it strikes and you're out. Amen? And I'm not talking about out of the game. I'm just out of this country and into the kingdom. Are y'all listening to me? But anyway, we're just going to talk a little bit about faith on this morning. Amen. How we have to depend on faith. How we have to, when we live and move and have our being in Jesus, but that's all by faith. Because right. only those who come to him must come to him through faith. Knowing, are y'all listening to me on this morning? Amen. We live by faith. We function by faith. We, we do the, uh, uh, the unimaginable. We do the things that's in, in, that, that people don't believe that you can. We conquer. We overcome. We're always on top. Why? Because of faith. Not because of my own intellect. Thank God for the intellect. Thank God for the wisdom and the knowledge and the education that he gave me. But that wisdom and knowledge minus the Holy Spirit is just delusion. Are you listening wow. to me? Even Paul said, I count all my, amen, 
all of my wisdom, all of my knowledge. I, he said, I count it as dumb, and we know what that is. Right. Amen? In other words, it's useless. You might as well just flush it down the drain. It's not going to get you anywhere without God, without Christ. Are you listening to me? Amen. We need to wake up and pay attention to what's going on around us. Yes. Are you Notice it's like a revolving door. Yes. God is taking people out of here. Generals with anointings like never before are, 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 are being transitioned. And, you know, people, are, he died. No, he didn't die. It was time for him to move on. Right. God said it's time for you to move because I want this space vacant because there's someone else I'm bringing up through the ranks hey, that's going to fill oh, this yeah. spot. And I'm going to tell you something, please. just because they leave this place, that doesn't mean that their anointing go with them. Amen. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, now, come on. I, I hope y'all paying attention to what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, when the man of God leave, the, uh, come on here now, someone else is going to step up, and that anointing, that mantle, is going to fall on that next individual, just like it did with Elisha and Elijah. Are you listening to me? So are you positioning yourself to receive the mantle? Are you listening to me? Are you in position to receive that mantle? Are you qualified to carry the mantle? David, give me just a little more volume on mine. Are you, are, you, are, are, are you qualified? You don't get the mantle just because you're there for the mantle to fall on. Amen. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. See, sometimes the devil thinks that he can position people. Uh, come on here now. He, he can do these schemes and things and, and, and give them a title, praise the Lord. And because they're there, they think that they can take up that rod. But uh, uh, you can pick up Moses all you want. It's not going to work for you. That's why yeah, that's why they had to get up under him and raise up his arms. The rod worked for Moses. It didn't work for anyone else. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to me? Man. That's why I asked on this morning, what's that in your hand? You know, by faith you're looking for the same thing, the same. You can put on the same suit. You can put on the same apostolic suit. But the suit ain't going to work for you because the suit only covers the power. How you understand me? The suit is not the power. The suit is just hung on the power. Are y'all listening to me? It's time that we wake up and pay attention to what God is really trying to teach us. Amen? In Hebrews 11, uh, starting at the fourth verse, it says, And by faith Abel, 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 offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. And see, God is checking out your faith by what you have to offer. Are you listening to me? David, I need a little, little, little more volume on mine. Amen? Amen. God is looking at what you're offering. Amen? If you're not bringing anything to him, come on here now. He has nothing to work with. Are y'all listening to me? You have to give him something to work with. If you want the vessel full, you got to bring the vessel to him. But one of the generals who left, I used to love, love to hear him pray. He says, empty pictures before a full fountain. Oh, y'all listening. I mean, that's deep. I go before God empty. I don't take to him mind. Oh, come on here now. I go to him empty. I go to him poured out. If you're not pouring anything out, why do you need anything poured in? He gave it to us to use. He gave it to us to help someone else. He gave it to us to bless someone else. He gave it to us to heal. He gave us healing to share healing. He gave us faith to share that faith. Yeah. Teach other people that by my faith, I got to where I am. I'll show you how to use your faith. Hallelujah. 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 We got a big bunch on this morning. That's a, that's a joke. Everybody know. That's what Bishop Coburn always say. <laughs> Amen. We got a dead bunch on this on the left side this morning. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. And, uh, and once he said that, then they start shouting. <laughs> so I'm trying to get y'all to start shouting. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. So it says, 
by faith able offered unto God a more excellent way. So by my faith I offered to God. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. In other words, I don't have it. I'm hoping for it, but I'm offering it. Are you listening to me? The down payment on the house is the substance of things hoped for. I'm hoping to get the house. I'm hoping to move in to the property. I'm hoping He 
was to be able to love through all things. I was, and your man, I was, a, they rode me, my God, like Roy Rogers rode Trigger. Uh, uh, amen. Because I was a, a, a Rams fan. Man, we hadn't won so long, I didn't know what winning was. Are y'all listening to me? But I stayed with my team. How many of us can stay with God like we stay with the Chicago Bears? How many of us can stay with God the way that we stay with the New York Giants? How many of us can stay with God the way that we stay with the Boston Celtics? Are you listening to me? We are diehard fans for folk that can't do nothing power but bring entertainment. But we can't stay with someone who gives us life and Before I got saved, I used to go to them Super Bowl games and all of that stuff. Everything, and then uh, they're doing everything but watching the game. All right. Hey, hey man, eating yeah. food, selling food, uh, getting drunk, going outside, tooting coke, smoking uh, blunts and stuff. I said, let me get myself away from him. These folks crazy. Are y'all listening to me? We can go through all of this stuff, uh, all this stuff. Uh, when are we going to go the extra mile for
He didn't just sell out with his mouth, Pastor Troy. 
Well, as good as his motorcycle, he loved that motorcycle. Uh, uh, but he put his actions where his mouth was. Uh, well, Jesus. He didn't want to get rid of that motorcycle, but there was something better. Uh, there was something that he wanted more. Yeah. There was something that, oh, come on here now. Yeah. And one thing we realize, Lisa, is that I can get another motorcycle. Right. Somebody ain't going to get this. Christ, you know, and uh, we'll make them uh, Jesus name only, which is apostolic, uh, P-A-W, P-A-W. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get as many as we can into the P-A-W, but we haven't saved no one. Mm -hmm. What good is your faith if all it does is move stuff around? I don't want to just be able to say to the mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea. Come on. But I want to start raising some folk from dead. Yeah. Amen. I, amen. And, I, and I'm not talking about I'm just playing physical. I'm talking about spiritually. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Spiritually. I want people into the kingdom of God. Are you listening to me? We too caught up in that. Well, I go to the church on this street. You go to the church on that street. You better, no, you better get what God told you, and, and you better make sure that that's where he sent you. Amen. And then look around and see what's going on. Amen. If ain't nobody being added to the kingdom, I'm praying for you. Amen. Because all we have is just another organization. That's it. That's it. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God has translated him for being his translation. He had this testimony that he, what, pleased God. Now we're getting into some deep stuff. How many of us are pleasing God? 
or are we pleasing ourselves? How many times have you given up what you wanted in order for God to get what he needed? See, 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 now we begin to mess with people. I don't need this that God does. Here, take it. He taketh it away. Amen? But we have to hand it to him. I know I ain't gonna have time to get into this like I really want to because I'm almost I only got about five five more minutes. But it's our attitude. It's our attitude. Faith starts here. Do you believe that I am going to do what I told you that I am going to? to do. And the moment you say yes, the devil goes to work. He start pulling at every fiber in your mind and in your body to try to pull you off of the assignment that God had given you. Jesus, the perfect example, what did he do? He went there and he sat by the well. Mm -hmm. You know how we are. Well, if they don't come in another five minutes, of, no, he sat right there and he waited. Yes, he did. That's good. Mm -hmm. Said, I must needs go through. See, when are we going to must need go through our Samaria? When are we going to do what God told us to do? When are we going to get somewhere and be still until we know that it is God? When are we going to sit there until God? Yes, it is. Now, if he teaches us to us, it's no longer a. Uh, 
well, let me move on. Somebody getting upset because I ain't preaching about the oh, Amen. And, uh, ain't preaching about the election. I ain't going to. I ain't going to waste our time on that stuff. Somebody need to hear the unadulterated word of God. Amen. One thing I, I, I will say, I don't understand where these folks who don't even live in the United States gets off by trying to tell you who you should vote for. Amen. You don't even live here. Go back, mind your business. It's the truth, anyhow. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. So in the sixth verse, it says, but without faith, maybe that's it, they don't have faith. Uh -huh. It is impossible yeah. to please him. Come on here now. Mm -hmm. For he that cometh to God uh -huh. must believe it that he is God and oh. that he is a rewarder of them that diligently yeah. seek him. Yeah. And you believe that he's a rewarder of God. Come on here now. And they went back. I like what I like about it. Said they went back looking for him. What are you looking for? <laughs> what are you looking for? Are you looking for fame? Uh. Amen. Some people they come through the church. Uh, uh, God sent me here to help you. No, you ain't. You you here trying to jumpstart your own ministry? Uh. <laughs> yo, yeah. yo. What you looking for? Some come looking for a wife. No, you seek God and, and maybe he'll send you a wife. So I'm looking for a husband. Amen. That's why you jacked up now. You're looking for a husband. You should have been looking for Jesus. And then Jesus would have told you that ain't your husband. Oh, yeah, come on here and listen to what I'm trying to say. It, it's all wrapped up in. Amen. Our attitude. Amen. But without faith. Yes. That's something we don't hear enough of. Mm -hmm. It is impossible. We're going to jump back on this next week. Hallelujah. Amen. Without faith. Yes, what are we telling? Hmm? God sent me here, okay? And let's see how long you believe that. God told me to do this. Okay, let's see how long you stay with me. By faith, all through here, Noah, being warned of God, I'm stopping, being warned by faith, we will pay attention to the faith flags, and maybe we won't find ourselves tangled up with red flags. Mm. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. Too many times, Pastor Barbara, I've heard people say, well, I know God told me to do this, and then it don't work, and they say, well, you know, uh, maybe I was supposed to, they still don't say, well, you know, I miss God. I'll tell you in a minute, I miss God, but not intentionally. Amen. But by my works, I'm not going to stop working. I wish Pastor Turner was still alive. Pastor, Pastor, Turner, my wife and I had a chance to talk with him about three years before he died. We went down there uh, like around 7 o'clock at night. We didn't get home until about 4.30, maybe 3 o'clock in the morning. We spent all that time talking, bonding, going over uh, uh, past things. And, and you, know, you understand what, what I'm saying? I know what my faith is. I, that, that, that's why I don't let... I, I just, let, be careful. Mm -hmm. God bless them people Amen. who misunderstands, Amen. Amen. who don't get it correct. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. My actions mm -hmm. speak louder Amen. than words. 
Hebrews is what this whole passage is saying. I can't act like a heathen and then convince you that I'm a saint. Are you listening to me? Your actions tells me everything that my spirit needs to know about you. By faith, by faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent way. That's where we're going to stop off. By my faith, am I offering you a more excellent way? Is my faith building up and bringing together, or is my faith agreeing with people and tearing things apart? If you notice, all through here, faith assembles, faith brings together, faith builds up, faith strengthens, faith increases. So I'm learning something. How to discern and how to decipher the word of God. If it's anything opposite of this, it is not faith. Amen? Amen. I love each and every last one of you all out there. I pray by the spirit of the most high God that you learn something today. I pray that you take what you have learned and that you apply it to your life. Because what good is it if we don't use it? Amen. We're trying to get back to the foundation, hearing the words of God, listening to the voice of God, and then applying it to our lives. Those words have to change us first. Amen. Or we cannot change Amen. others. Amen. Jesus told Peter that the devil desires to sift you like wheat. Yes, yes. But he told him, when uh -huh. thou hast been turned about, I looked that up, he said, but when thou hast been converted, uh -huh. then go and strengthen thy brother. That's it. Amen. If I don't change, I can't right. change you. If I don't get help, I have no help to offer you. Amen. Let's start working on ourselves. Amen. And let's start praying for others that are divisive and are using cutting words to cause division. Amen. Let's start doing what Jesus wanted us to do. Amen. Before he left, he said, Father, Make them one, even as you and I are one. And he said that by this men will know that ye are my disciples. The, he didn't say by your gift or your money. He said, but because you have love, assemble one another. I love you. Thank God for you. Praise God that you tuned in on today. Amen. And we eagerly and excitedly await to see you again this coming Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Scroll down on Giveify, find the one in Beach Park, and sow your seeds. I guarantee you they will not be thrown away. If you watched this on yesterday, you will see how food was given away. Clothing was given away, not sold. Mm -hmm. Sown into the hands of those who needed it. Amen. We need your help. You can go to our webpage, Word of Life Ministries, intl.org, and there's a donate button on there. In the meantime, we love you, and we excitedly await to see you on Wednesday. Good day, and God bless each and every last one of you all. And come visit us. Because a church that's alive is worth the drive. Oh. Oh,